This is Dave at TitleSearch.com. Had one of our lead examiners uh, bring us a title search yesterday that had some interesting aspects to it uh, that are, are important to look at if you're an investor or somebody doing your own title searches. And it was how can you miss a lien when searching title? In this example, uh, there was a mortgage that had been placed on a property. About four or five years later, a separate document was recorded that released that mortgage. So um, in theory, then a person looking at a title uh, generally would have seen a mortgage, a release that matched up and erased uh, that mortgage from the title. The problem is there was a subsequent document filed that was an affidavit, which basically undid that mortgage release. So the mortgage is filed in one book, the release is filed in another book, there's an affidavit filed elsewhere which undoes the effectiveness of that mortgage release and now boom that mortgage is back effective on the title the scary thing about this document was it was not indexed in the deed books it was indexed only in the general index or the GI for that county where uh, an inexperienced or untrained title searcher or even um, you know a professional title searcher that's not a certified abstractor um, or has a lot of experience may have missed finding that affidavit and may have produced a title or a title abstract that did not show that mortgage still being active so it's important to have that kind of experience and uh, somebody looking at your titles uh, that knows what to look for in another example we found a lien uh, it happened to be a mechanics lien that was recorded uh, against a property uh, in a person's name but when you looked at that lien it was recorded on let's say lot number 42 well come to find out that was a typo uh, it wasn't actually on lot 42 it was on lot number 24 so if you looked for that uh, person's name as an owner you found that lien no it's on lot 42 it's not on lot 24 and you might disregard it there was a correction notice filed as a separate document showing the corrective uh, numbers to that lien so now it's back on lot 42 so if you looked at that original lien you may have disregarded it because it had the wrong legal description uh, and then come to find out later there's another document as a corrective um, you know deed or a corrective uh, document to that lien that made it now active on the property so it's important when searching title that you you know have somebody doing it that knows exactly what to look for you're looking at all the different areas because if you have a lien that's missed that could come back to haunt you on a property it's not gonna be any fun coming up with you know five or ten or fifteen thousand dollars or in the case of a mortgage could have been over a hundred thousand so you want to make sure that you have a certified title abstractor uh, doing your searches for you if it's going to be an important decision on the property